Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today I'm working on uh, the old OBS here, my 1994 Ford uh, short bed uh, converted F350. And I'm giving her, giving her something she's needed for a while. We're going to call it a Brazilian butt lift. The, uh, the back of my truck, as you guys know, hasn't been the most attractive, uh, attractive uh, rear end on one of these Fords and uh, needed, needed a little attention. So I picked up uh, picked up a new to me used tailgate for it. Uh, happens to be white and scratched and scuffed, and it fits my truck perfectly. Um, and I've also got a rear bumper that I'm going to put on here. I'm going to put a later model rear bumper on it. Uh, the bumper I got's off at Expedition, so it's not a uh, it's not a pickup truck rear bumper, but uh, it's basically the same thing, and it, I think it's going to work better for what I need to do here for mounting it up. Um, I've trimmed uh, trimmed a couple inches off of each end, knocked the corners off of the bumper. I'll show you guys that here in a second. And what I've got to do now, I've got it fitted where I want it and ready to build some bumper brackets. And that's, uh, that's what I'm going to be working on today is cutting and fitting uh, the bumper brackets to the frame and to the bumper so I can bolt this thing in place. I sent some preliminary pictures here to some of my trusted advisors and the reviews are mixed so uh, I don't know it's kind of growing on me I think the bumper is going to look good um, I kind of wish it fit the body lines a little bit better um, if I had two of them I would have just sectioned it and uh, painted it and it would have been fine but I'm going to try and go with what I've got here and get this thing mounted up and uh, we'll see how it comes out I think any improvement's going to be a big improvement on my old uh, beat up service truck here. So um, I'm going to set you guys up while I start cutting things and uh, test fitting this. And hopefully by the end of the day here we'll have this thing mounted up. So I'm going to quit talking and get to work. So today's project is mounting up my nice Expo bumper here. I went ahead and knocked the corners off of it. And... Uh, I still have some finish work to do to smooth this transition on the curve here and try and uh, blend this edge all the way down around the corner. So I'm going to trim that up a little bit more on both sides and make it uh, a little better looking. But for now, the plan now is to uh, build some bumper brackets and get this thing bolted on. Okay guys, well, as these things sometimes go, that nagging voice in the back of my head has made me rethink this project a little bit. So instead of using the stock brackets and modifying them, I'm going to start with this big chunk of 4x6 that I had sitting around. Um, I'm going to use the 4 inch side as my new bumper bracket. And I'm basically just going to drill my holes on the frame end at a 15 degree angle, which is the way I measured it on the frame, it looks like around 15 degrees. So I'm going to run a center line on this 4 inch side and put my two of my bumper bolts right directly on center. The first point in the frame and the first point on the bumper bracket. And then the other two will be offset to the bottom of that. Um, I think it's going to look better, it's going to work better, and uh, you know it should be just as strong. What I'm going to do to reinforce it, this is, this is only 8 inch wall tubing, so that's not strong enough for bumper brackets. So what I'm going to do to reinforce it is I'm going to back it on the inside with a full length plate of quarter inch. So that'll give me, I'll, I'll put some plug welds along the length and that'll give me basically a 3 8 inch thick bumper bracket, which should be plenty strong for this, uh, for the towing and the usage that this truck's going to do. Plus it won't be at an angle anymore, it'll be straight off the back of the, of the frame and I think it'll look better and work better and just be all around a uh, better way to go. It's going to be a little more work, but uh, I think I'll get a better result out of it.
I went back to my local yard here and got uh, got some tailgate hinges I'm going to put on here uh, that'll match the color of my truck so it doesn't look uh, awkward when I open the tailgate if I ever get the thing to open. Uh, I've got to uh, I've got to build a new piece of sheet metal to go on the inside of my bed corner that's been ripped off um, to mount this hinge on the driver's side um, so that I can uh, have a nice functioning tailgate. I'm going to do that after I do the bumper. I needed the tailgate in place to set the height of the bumper. So once I get the bumper in place, then I'll tackle uh, making that filler panel and welding that in so I can mount the hinge and get the tailgate fully functional. Right now it's kind of kind of a limp wrist uh, tailgate, but goes with the rest of my limp wrist truck, right? While I was at the yard, I got all the uh, bunch of different bumper bolt hardware here that came off of a few different trucks that should allow me to bolt everything in place securely and keep my uh, new flashy rear bumper here from falling off of my uh, my not so flashy truck. So there we go guys. I've still got to get uh, nuts and bolts so I can put this back together properly. Some grade 8 hardware. Get everything tightened up. It's still not quite 100% tight at the moment, but that's how she's going to sit. I've got to move my license plate over here too in the center and uh, hook up my license plate lights, but uh, I think it looks a hell of a lot better. The tailgate clears when it's down. I, I still have to, uh, next thing I've got to do is fix this tailgate hinge on the driver's side. There's currently no hinge there at all. It got ripped out of the bed. So that's the next thing I'm going to address is fixing that tailgate hinge. But the gate opens all the way. Cables are tight. So I'm super happy with that guys. Uh, I think it was worthwhile doing and I, you know, give my truck a Brazilian butt lift here and get the back of it looking proper. And I like that it kind of matches what's going on with the front bumper. You know, I never understood why uh, Ford gave us those slab, those big square ugly bumpers on the back of these trucks and a nice curvy rounded cornered bumper with a plastic trim on it on the front. Didn't, didn't make sense to me. So I always thought this bumper would be a better fit on the back of our trucks and I think it is. I think it looks pretty good. Well guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me today. I've got a big mess here to clean up and I've got to get to the hardware store and get some nuts and bolts so I can bolt that thing on, get everything nice and tight and get it leveled the way I want it. But uh, man, I'm super happy with how this thing looks. I think it looks great. It really updates the back of the truck. And uh, from the back, I think, uh, I think most guys would be kind of confused as to what year truck it was. But uh, I like it gives it kind of a Bronco look almost in the back. So I'm really happy with how it came out and uh, I think the back of my truck looks a whole lot better than it did before so uh, we've got a lot more work to do. I've got to fix that driver's side tailgate hinge and weld in a patch panel on the inside of that uh, bed corner. And the trick to that's going to be getting it positioned just right so my gaps are correct on both sides of the bed. and. The way my bedsides are, I think I should probably tackle the bedsides first because they're not they're not exactly where they need to be. Um, I think somebody threw some bedsides on this bed and didn't tack them correctly along the top edge, top rail. So it's a little loose and kind of floppy back there. So I think what I'm going to do first is address all those tack welds. Uh, I've got a spot, spot weld cutter. I'm going to cut um, spot weld holes all along the rails so I can put tack welds every four inches or so and uh, get the bedsides clamped into place tacked so they're true and straight and then I think I'll come back here to the back and fix that tailgate hinge so I can get a nice gap on my tailgate on both sides and I'm even going to replace that broken tail light. I've got my hinges here that I picked up at the yard uh, they happen to be the same color as my truck white like all service trucks so uh, They'll go on and, and uh, fix, fix the problems I've got with the saggy tailgate next.
But yeah, I'm really glad to have addressed one of the big problems with my truck, which was I couldn't put anything in the bed that I didn't want rolling out and falling out the back of it. So, so now I've got a now I've got a tailgate on there, and it's a little less neutered than it was before. So, next thing to fix is uh, once I get that tailgate done, is get some four-wheel drive back in this thing, and then it won't be neutered at all anymore. So that's it for me, guys. If you like the video, if you like the work I'm doing on the OBS and you want to see more Ford OBS coverage, more videos, we've got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, Kevin's just about got that Lenati cam that we're going to put in that 460. And uh, then we're going to do the the uh, head-to-head -head drag race. So I'm looking forward to it. He's looking forward to it. He's ridden in my truck and gotten a little bit scared, I think. So he, he doesn't want to do that race until we got the cam in that in that 460. So uh, I think I might have the edge, at least psychologically, for now. And for today's work, I really enjoyed doing that. I, I, it was a worthwhile thing to do, and the truck really needed that butt lift in the back there to make it look a little more like a truck. And I'm really happy with the way it came out and the result. So please, if you like the video, click like and subscribe if you're new uh, for, for more OBS content coming up. Thanks for watching.